and I'm Red Moon, and today we're talking about Sunny Angels. Personally, these little guys have been following me all around TikTok for the last few months. If you don't know about them, you most likely seen TikToks of Sunny Angel fans meeting up in the middle of Washington Square Park in Lower Manhattan to buy and trade Sunny Angels with each other. I know we certainly mm -hmm. have. Sunny Angels have become so popular recently that the New York Times even wrote an article about their boom in popularity a few months ago. All the attention they have surrounding them got us thinking, what are Sunny Angels and why do they have such a cult following? So with all that being said, let's jump into the history of Sunny Angels. First, we asked the question, who is Sunny and why is he naked? Well, the official Sunny Angels website describes Sunny as a little angel boy who loves wearing all sorts of headgear. He's always by your side to make you smile. Sunny Angel will provide healing moments in your everyday life. He's a welcome sight at the entrance to your home, next to your bed, on your desk, and so many other places. With their main tagline being, he may bring you happiness. I love their tagline. I guess like they can't really guarantee he will bring you happiness, but it also it kind of sounds a little ominous to me. Like if he can't bring me happiness, what else is he gonna bring me? Like like, like sadness, misfortune. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a negative thinker. I guess he'll bring you good luck, confidence, and prosperity. Hopefully, I don't know. hopefully <laughs> he might. He may. We don't know for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Sunny Angel was born on May 15, 2004 and was originally 7 inches tall. Sunny was designed to be a small companion for working women in their mid-twenties dealing with the stress of adulthood. We also found on another website that the creator said the concept behind Sunny Angels was that of a little boyfriend, so why is he a two-year-old? <laughs> so I'm guessing they changed this concept because having a two-year-old act as a 20-year-old's boyfriend is kind of concerning. So Sunny is a two-year-old cherub, if you want to be technical so about it. He's a myth being basically. He's not your boyfriend, okay? No, yeah. Get out of the way. <laughs> um, they did actually reach their target audience because about 90% of Sunny Angel's buyers are women ages 20 to 40. So if you're a man Sunny Angel fan, comment on this video Please. right now because from my research I literally could not find any men that collect Sunny Angels. No, like I know you're out there and I want I want to see you. Come out. Comment, comment please. please. <laughs> Sunny was created by a Japanese toy company called Dreams, which is honestly one of the best brand names ever to ever exist. I couldn't think of anything better than that, except maybe if they added two in front of it. Besides Sunny Angels, the company is best known for making products like this duck bath light and Smisky, a mysterious fairy figure that glows in the dark. I ski Smisky. I, Smisky I love Smisky. Look how cute he is. He's adorable. Wee. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but back to Sunny Angels, they were created by Toru Soya a Japanese toy designer who gave his nickname Sony to the character. Pronounced Sony in Japanese and Sunny if you're an uneducated American. Toto stated he was heavily inspired by a hundred year old American cartoon character named Cupid, which is short for Cupid. More specifically, Cupid was a character who appeared in comic strips created by Rosie O'Neill in the early 1900s. The cartoon character Cupid rapidly grew in popularity and soon had paper dolls, porcelain dolls, stuffed toys, resin statues, and pins being produced of them. Though they aren't as popular as they once were these days, some collectors still seek out replicas and vintage models of Cupid. Absolutely no hate to Toru Soya, but inspired by is a really strong statement. Like, is Sunny Angel not almost identical to Cupid? I mean, maybe Cupid's 100-year-old copyright has expired. I don't really know the legal logistics of that. So how can you tell the difference between a Cupid figure and a Sunny Angel? Okay, we're over-exaggerating. They don't look exactly alike because there are some key differences. Cupid's cheeks are rosier and you have a higher chance of finding them wearing pants when compared to a Sunny Angel. Sunny Angels also almost exclusively wear some type of headgear, while Cupid is often seen with a heart on their chest. Cupid's eyes also have variations regarding where they're looking, while Sunny Angels either always look to the right or in some rare instances have their eyes closed. Sunny Angels also don't have dimples or noticeable noses, unlike Cupid. Okay, pause. pause. At least Sunny Angel's wings are on his neck because what the hell is that, Cupid? Care to explain, Cupid, what the fuck? Why are wings on your neck? Anyways, Cupid comes in a range of different sizes, ranging from 1 to 22 inches, while Sunny Angels typically come in three sizes, with the exception of some larger special edition figures. Comparing Cupid and Sunny, I gotta say, Sunny is way cuter. Yeah. I know Toto was inspired by Cupid to create Sunny Angels, but I gotta say, he definitely improved on Cupid's design, like 100%. Mm -hmm. Like, Cupid looks like he's hiding something from you, and when you find out, it'll change your entire perception of Cupid as a being. Although Sunny Angels angels still look like they're hiding something from you, you know, if you found out, you'd probably forgive him because he's so cute. Oh yeah, and Cupid dolls are genderless while Sunny Angels are all confirmed to be boys. 
honestly, this is so refreshing because we've been covering so many doll lines on our channel and in each video we complain about the lack of guide dolls and Sunny Angels really said, here, have a thousand boys. Yeah, there's over a thousand Sunny Angels to collect. Each Sunny Angel comes in a blind box which are released in different themed series with 12 unique Sunny Angels in each series. On average, they cost $10 to $15 per blind box and are currently sold in 33 countries. In addition to the 12 Sunny Angels in each series, there's also a Secret Angel and a Robbie Angel. Secrets are an additional Sunny Angel that isn't listed on the pack. Each series has its own secret, but not every box of 12 is guaranteed to have a secret in it, so even if you buy an entire box, you might not get one. There's only one secret per 12 boxes, so 12 stores could have a box containing 12 Sunny Angels, but only one of those 12 boxes will have a secret angel inside. So basically, you have a 1 out of 144 chance of getting a secret angel. As you can tell by all of those numbers, secret angels are very rare and very collectible. Uh, oh, what, what the heck is that? Oh yeah, it's Robbie Angel. There's another secret angel that doesn't resemble a regular sunny angel named Robbie Angel. Robbie is smaller than a normal sunny angel and resembles a dog and bear all at once. According to the official website, Robbie Angel is a good friend of Sunny Angel and can change his body color at any time he wants, sort of like a chameleon. Oh, and he likes to dress up. Robbie often imitates the style of Sunny Angel in each series he comes in. You have the same chance of getting Robbie as you do with a typical secret angel. Each series has a different colored Robbie. For example, Animal Series 2 comes with a pink Robbie, while the Marine Series comes with a blue Robbie. If anyone wants to hand over the circus-themed Robbie, Contact me immediately. I want him. He's look, so cute. Look how tall he is. He's, He's so stupid cool. looking. I love him. <laughs> what is this? The one you wanted? It's a fucking Robbie. No way. Within the fandom, there is apparently a divide between people who really love Robbie and really hate him. Personally, I don't understand how you can hate Robbie. He's so cute. He is. And this might be controversial, but we love Robbie more than Sunny Angel. I mean, maybe that's because I'm more of an animal person than I am a kid person, but he's so cute. He's adorable. Anyways, there are eight regular series to collect alongside special edition series and limited edition series that release every year. With all that being said, let's jump into talking about all the Sunny Angel lines individually, aka the Sunny Angel series, because there's a lot, so strap in. It all started with Animal Series version 1, which released in 2005. Technically, Animal Series has 8 series within it, although versions 1 through 4 were just reproduced again in 2018. As you can guess by the title, these Sunny Angels are animal themed, so they come wearing hats and nothing else. Some animals include a giraffe, crocodile, and cow, amongst 45 others. Not to mention the Special Angels and Robbie per series. Yeah, it gets confusing. Next is the flower series, which were reproduced in 2019, containing 12 sunny angels with flowers on their heads, including dandelions, cherry blossoms, and acorns, amongst nine other flowers. Well, I guess the title flower series is a little bit loose yeah. of a definition because acorns are not flowers, mm -hmm. but anyway. The marine series, which was also reproduced in 2019, contains marine life themed sunny angels, including a clownfish, seal, and shell, to name a few, amongst nine other marines. <laughs> I mean nine other marine animals. <laughs> Imagine dressing up a sunny angel as a marine to comfort like a working woman whose husband just went to the military. I can honestly kind of picture that. Yeah, I can. Dreams company? Hire me. <laughs> um, but I mean like wouldn't going to the marines and fighting be against like terror of nature I feel like? Like that doesn't really fit the brand of terror. That's true. Okay, maybe never mind, never mind. <laughs> Next is the fruit series, which was once again reproduced in 2019 and contains fruit-themed sunny angels like watermelon, durian, and pineapple, amongst nine other fruits. Then we got sweet series, which were reproduced in 2018 and contains sweet-themed sunny angels like pudding, ice cream, and compietto, which is a candy you might recognize from Spirited Away, amongst nine other sweet-themed sunnies. My favorite in this line is Cookie, yes. bitch! Look how cute he looks! Like, he looks like he's wearing a wig made out of cookies. He does. Oh my god, I love <laughs> him so much. Like, I, I wasn't vibing with Sunny Angel until I saw him, and now I get it. I, him and Robbie might have a tie for me. Yeah, you know? sign me up. So those were just the regular series, which aren't hard to find. Now let's speed through the limited series, which were released for a limited amount of time. The limited line consists of 43 different series within it. So before we speed through all of those, let's highlight a few of our favorites. 
We really like the Circus series, Join the Circus Edition 2022, and the original. We are suckers for anything circus themed. I just love bright primary colors so much, and Circus Robbie's in here. I love Circus Robbie. We also like Sunny Town Musicians just for this thief character. What the fuck does he have around his mouth? It kind of looks like a goatee to me. I don't know what it is, and frankly, if he told me, I wouldn't care because he's so cute. He could be a 40 year old man disguised as a two year old, and I'd forgive him, honestly. If he stole my wallet, I'd give him my bank account password too. Side note, I feel like Sunny Angels give small zombie vibes from Minecraft because I feel like if I looked at them the wrong way, they'd start running at me like at full speed. Especially since they're giving like a sassy side eye, yeah. like I feel like they're judging me and like if I look at them, they'll just fucking sprint at me and attack yeah, Like a whole group of them just coming at me, like that's honestly kind of terrifying. They're kind of giving feral energy, yeah. like um... Uh, okay, but anyways, we're getting <laughs> off track. Are you ready for some rapid fire limited edition lines? All right, okay. ready. <laughs> So we got Valentine's Day series 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, Christmas series 2016, 2017, 2018, and 2019, and Christmas present from Sunny Angels 2020, and Dreaming Christmas 2021, and Sunny Angels Christmas Ornament 2022, then Cat Life, Afternoon Tea, Love the Music, Sunny Angel, Hello Jeju, Sunny Angel, Enjoy the Moment, Refreshing Cold Drinks, Creature Series, I like the Creature Series, they're really cool, especially this random guy named Brian. Then we got Bugs World, Cherry Blossom series, Cherry Blossom Night version, Cherry Blossom Peaceful Spring Edition, Message of Love, Harvest Series, Halloween Series, Summer Series, Summer Festival Series, Summer Vacation Series, Japanese Good Luck, Sunny Angel and Space Adventure Series, Sunny Angel and Wonderland Series, Sky Color Series, Cactus Series, New York Series, 15th Anniversary Series, New York Card Series, French one I can't pronounce but here's the name on screen, Special Animal Series aka Animal Series version 3 in a special colorway, and lastly Okinawa Series and Soul Series. Oh my god, like capitalism really went hard with all the series. Like. Personally though, I feel like my least favorite series are like the ones with the Sunny Angels wearing t-shirts with words printed on them. They always feel a little bit plain to me. They're kind of like, like eh. They're like a little boring. Yeah. Next is the minifigure gift series, which contains three lines specifically designed to be given as a gift to someone. There's flower gifts, which are lions holding flowers, birthday gift, which are cake themed angels with happy birthday written on them, and birthday gift bear, which are bears who come with either a happy birthday cake or balloon. Then we got minifigure hippers that come with adhesive tapes you can hang them on your phone, desk, laptop, or bookshelf. They are recreations of three previously existing series, the Animal Series, the Harvest Series, and the Dreaming Series. Sunny Angels also partnered with independent artists from around the world with the Artist Collection Series. Artists got to recolor pre-existing Sunny Angel molds with their own artistic flair. Each artist gets two Sunny Angels to redesign. Our favorites are Kai and Kame Life, Everything Has Souls. We are going to refrain from going over all of them, as there are only two Sunny Angels for each artist, but here's a brief overview. We got the Master Collection series, which is a series of highly detailed oversized figures made of polystone. In this collection, there are two figures, the Clover Rabbit, which is a sunny angel holding four-leaf clover, and just a rabbit who's the same figure but sitting down without a clover. From what I've read, they were designed to be given as gifts since they represent good luck and came with a message card you could write on. Okay, last category, I swear. The other category contains figures that don't really fit into specific series, such as bobbleheads, snow globes, well, snow globe, and series with only two figures like Pet Treat series or the Summer Island series amongst seven other others. So that's all the Sunny Angels lines. Thank you so much for sticking with us through all of that, but we are not done yet. We haven't mentioned the Sunny Angels stories. Mm -hmm. In 2017, Sunny Angels opened stores in Ishigaki Jima Island in Okinawa, Japan, Seoul, South Korea, and most recently in 2018, they opened a third store in Taiwan. These stores sell extra merch with Sunny Angels designs on them. They have bags, t-shirts, flip-flops, and just a lot of stuff. Look at these pictures. These stores are places where you can get some of the exclusive figures like we mentioned earlier. Also, I saw a plush version of Strawberry Robbie on eBay that comes with a card with the Okinawa store logo on it. So I'm assuming they also sell exclusive merchandise that's only available for a short period of time at their physical stores. 
as well because this dude is selling it for $500 so that retail price tag is indicating that he was limited edition or this person selling him is just crazy. And we're sure we're missing some lines because we really only use the official website for reference and while doing research for this video I did stumble across a few lines I didn't see on the website so apologies in advance we probably missed something. Also the original 7 inch Sunny Angels are pretty expensive online and actually came wearing fabric outfits which is really cool. Otherwise you can still buy Sunny Angels today online and at certain retail stories like Urban Outfitters. So that's the history of Sunny Angels, or Sony Angels, depending on how we want to pronounce that. I love that Sunny Angels, like target demographic, is stressed out adults. I just really like how they really stress in their marketing that, you know, Sunnies may bring you happiness and healing. Yeah, like generally everyone knows adults who buy kids toys are buying them for some sort of comfort, so I think it's interesting that at the center of like Sunny's marketing was like their healing properties uh, for adults. And continues to be their healing properties. Yeah. I think it's just really nice that a company just like acknowledges the adults that buy their products yeah. because not a lot of companies do mm -hmm. especially like I feel like they're in a way they're creating a safe space they're like we see you we yeah. hear you here's something that can heal you if we know it. for you like here in America you just get called a kiddo if you buy a kid's toy for yourself yeah. but that's a whole different discussion for a different video I can see how collecting them can be a slippery slope though although personally I can't justify buying a ton of tiny little figures because they're just plastic and there's nothing else to them there really isn't um um, hang on, um, uh, moving these. <laughs> Um, but if they weren't, you know, half naked all the time, I feel like, you know, I would like them a little bit more, but I could also see how that's part of their charm. Yeah, you can also buy clothes for them off Etsy if you don't like them being naked. But honestly, to all the Sunny ha Angel haters mm -hmm. out there, they look better than Funko Pops, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> We honestly really love how huge the community is around Sunny Angels. Yeah. I love seeing all the TikToks that show up on my For You page of friends buying blind boxes together and opening them at a park. It just looks so freaking yeah. fun. I feel like if I had a few friends who were into Sunny Angels, I would also buy one or two Sunny Angels just to do that with my friends because it just looks so fun. And honestly, the community surrounding Sunny Angels just further pushes Sunny Angels' message of healing stressed out young adults because mm -hmm. they unintentionally just created a community where stressed out 20 year olds can come meet each other out in parks and hang out and trade figures and hang out and maybe heal together and i just think that's so cool that's so cool i know a lot of people look at them like you're ugly naked babies but it's but a fun community where you is. have a good time like i can see why people love them so much we had a fun time deep diving for this video mm -hmm. i was just scrolling on tiktok after tiktok yeah. of just sunny angel videos and now my few pages filled with yeah. sunny angel videos and i don't even own any <laughs> we're not mad though we're I'm, not, I'm mad. not mad they're, they're cute they've grown on me i like them <laughs> we like but them. i like robbie more yeah <laughs> Uh, Robbie, if you have Robbie, give him to me. <laughs> Anyways, that's all our opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yes. If you like us, make sure to check out our Patreon. We post exclusive videos and behind the scenes content. We have a $3 tier. Please subscribe Please. if you want. We need new camera equipment. I know. <laughs> um, you can also follow us on our two TikToks, our Instagram, our Redbubble, our Mercari. We and sell our eBay. We have an eBay oh, now. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We made an eBay where we sell cute things all the time. Like this Jasmine, you may see in the background of our video this entire time. She's, She's so gorgeous. Cute. She has her guitar, her earrings, and her shoes. I just think that's so cool. She's adorable. We sell her amongst other things. Yes. And anyways, just remember to dream is to expand your imagination and to create a reality. Anything's possible and things don't have to make sense. See you in our next video. Oh, come on, Yasmin, let's go. <laughs>